If you're looking for passage, talk to Captain Gyal. If you're looking for passage to Solstheim, too bad. I'm not going back there anymore. Sure. Yeah, that's me. Why? Who sent you? Now, hold on. That wasn't my fault. I didn't know they were going to attack anybody. I don't even know how I got here. It's hard to explain. I remember those people with the masks coming on board. Then, the next thing I remember, I was here, and they were gone. It's not right losing whole days like that. There's been something strange going on there for a while. But after this, I'm done. I'm not going back to Solstein. I already told you, I'm not going back to Solstein. All right, you have a point. Taking you back to find out who sent them is the least I can do. Besides, maybe you can put a stop to whatever's going on over there. I owe them a bit of payback myself. Well, here we are. This is Raven Rock. Say, I'm all that glad to see it again. Good luck. Maybe you can figure out what's going on around here. I don't recognize you. So I'll assume this is your first visit to Ravenrock, Outlander. So, State your Raven intentions. Rock, eh? Not all that much to look at. Mirak, I... I'm not sure. Could I do? Just remember, Ravenrock is sovereign territory of House Redera. This is Morrowind, not Skyrim. While you're here, you will be expected to abide by our laws. Any questions? I... I'm unsure. I swear I know the name, but I cannot place it. I don't think so. I'm not... The, the name has something to do with the Earthstone. I'm not sure what. I have to be. A second counselor, the security of Raven Rock, is my primary concern. This isn't exactly the city of Blacklight. We're on the frontier, out here. We've had more than a fair share of troubles. After all we've been through together, I refuse to let Councillor Morvain down. Councillor Morvain is House Veteran's representative on Solstein. As second Councillor, it's my job to support him and make certain his rule is enforced. Ravenrock started out as an Imperial settlement. The Empire decided to abandon it, just as my people were first setting foot here. They left the town a shambles, but when House Redoran took over, we turned it around and it became ours. And even if it's been a struggle to make this island livable, we're proud to call it home. Your ignorance of our homeland doesn't surprise me. It's the capital of Morrowind that way ever since Mournhold was sacked by the Argonians. I don't visit there often anymore, but we still get the occasional supply ship and visitors from there. Quite a while ago, yes. They cut a bloody swath across most of the southern region of Morrowind. Nobody seems certain why it happened. Attempted expansion, revenge for the enslavement of their people, or perhaps both. Whatever the case may be, thousands of Dunmen needlessly lost their lives. Many more were exiled from their homeland. Giala. Talk to Captain Gyalland if you're looking Stop. to book passage. We, uh, we were delayed by bad weather. 
Who are you even? If you're looking for passage. Yes. Talk to Captain Gallagher. And the supplies you requested. But... But what? This load cost me double what we've agreed on. Nothing I can do about it. Damn it, Jollans. You know we don't have that much cost. Well, the East Empire Company didn't give me a choice. They've raised their prices again. And there's nothing I can do about it. After all these years, they're gouging us for every last drake we have. Let me talk to Laryl. I'll see what we can do. All right, Admiral. Don't worry about rushing. Just pay me when you can. If you need a ride back to the mainland, Gallon's the only way off the spot. Your visit here will be tolerated as long as you abide by our laws. Otherwise, you'll answer to the veteran guard.
that guy has forgotten. Here do we toil, that we might remember why. You there, you don't seem to be in quite the same state as the others. Very interesting. May I ask what it is you're doing here? No, no. It sounds familiar, and yet I can't quite place... Oh, wait, I recall. That makes very little sense. Mirak's been dead for thousands of years. I'm not sure, but it is fascinating, isn't it? Perhaps it has some relation to what's going on here. Quite unexpected. I'm afraid I can't give you any answers, but there are ruins of an ancient temple of Mirak's toward the center of the island. If I were you, I'd look there. Building something, clearly. And yet they don't seem to have much to say about it. I'm very interested to find out what happens when they finish. Certainly not. Doing so would interfere with whatever is going on. And I would be unable to see how this all turns out. It is the only place where silt striders can be found. Although I managed to transplant a few here when I arrived. It's the homeland of the Dunmen. The lesser races call us Dark Elves. We built great works for them, like Vivek and Altru. Many of them are destroyed now, either by Red Mountain or the Argonian invasion. There is the big island of Ardenfell, the coastal mainland. House Telvani has its properties on Bartonfell. I've never been to the mainland myself. Red Mountain dominates the island. Every now and then, ash and debris from an eruption land on our ship. The ignorant think it is only a place of ash and lava. It has rolling green plains and swamps and verdant hills too. That's that he devil. grows ever near to us. Our eyes once were blinded. Now through him do we see. Our say. hands once were idle. Now through them does he see. And when the world shall listen. And when the world shall see.
don't even think about it. Not much contact with others around here. Go. I work for Mogul. You got a problem? You talk. Mogul doesn't lend coin to outlanders. Look somewhere else. I'll give you this warning only once. Stay out of my way, and we'll do just fine. No, wait. I recognize the name, but I'm not sure why. I don't know. I feel strange just thinking about it. A temple, maybe. Here on the island, uh, something about a temple? All right then. Teldrin Cero, Blade for Hire. If you have the coin, I'm at your Welcome service. to... Did I know someone by that name? Someone. Someone that wanted something. Maybe I'm just confused. I can't be sure. All right, then. Welcome to the Wretching Nets Corner Club, home of the finest Sue Jammer that will ever grace your lips. The finest Sue Jammer to cross your lips, friend. My own personal formula that I call Sadri's Sue Jammer. In fact, I've just added some new ingredients to the mixture that I think makes it taste better than ever. All I need to do is get the war out that it's ready, and they'll flock here for it. I was kind of hoping you'd say that. Here, take these samples of the Sujama and spread the word. If you get rid of all of them, there's something extra in it for you. Welcome to the wretching... There's actually a funny story behind the name, friend. A few years ago, I was walking down by the docks, and I noticed a Dunma staggering along with a bottle of Sujama in hand. He was one of my patrons and liked to drink heavily, so I wasn't exactly surprised. Ah, but you see, this particular Dunmer was as naked as the day he was born and singing badly at the top of his lungs. As I'm watching this spectacle, a netch floats over the bulwark towards him. The man looks straight up at the netch, yells, have a drink, and tosses the bottle, and it never hit the ground. Well, the bottle broke on the netch, 
and it must have swallowed its contents because it started floating and sort of tilted. Finally, it stopped and began to quiver. A few moments later, the foulest liquid to ever assail your nostrils spewed from its maw. I've seen plenty of drunks in me day, and I'll tell you right now, that netch was sick. True story, friend. True story. If you've got gold on your hands, you might talk to Rallis of the Colbjorn Barrow. I've heard he wants to excavate the place. With the mine shut down, there's no telling how much longer Raven Rock's going to last. Hopefully, Councillor Morvane has a plan. Haven't heard anything lately. But check back with me. You never know. The Redoran Guard have spotted a pack of werewolves in the mountains. The hunters up on Frostmoon Crag might know more. With the mine shut down, there's no telling how much longer Raven Rock's going to last. Hopefully, Councillor Morvane has a plan. We've got our eyes on you. I'll I give you this morning only once. You gotta stay out of my way. Him. And we'll do just fine. You haven't seen Crescius Corellius, have you? That foolish old man's taking my pickaxe again. No, no, no. This isn't just your run-of-the-mill pickaxe. I'm talking about an ancient Nordic pickaxe. They don't exactly grow on trees, you know. Um, I prefer to handle these things on my own. Look, if you see Crescius, tell him to give me that pickaxe back, and I'll pay you for the trouble. Perfect. I was just thinking about heading over for a drink. Thanks for saving me the trip. Well, well. It's been a long time since someone from the guilds bothered to make their way out here. So tell me, how's my brother Delvin? Still spending his nights at the Ragged Flagon trying to win Vex's heart? Good to hear. Tam Layabout never even bothers to send his own flesh and blood a letter saying how he's doing. Can you imagine? Anyway, I suppose you're looking for work. Well, I got bad news. This place is drier than a damn bone. Eager to make some coin, eh? That's the spirit. I'll tell you what. The guild's got a problem out here that I've been trying to deal with for years, but haven't been able to handle. Don't look at me like that. I'm all alone out here, with no one to watch my back. And besides, it's really my problem anyway. I caused it. A fellow Breton who went by the name Esmond Tyne showed up on my doorstep about a fortnight ago. He noticed the shadow marks like you did, and I thought he was one of us. <laughs> that he did, right out from under my nose. Can you believe it? It's my own formula for improved bone mold. Took me years to perfect. Well, before he ran off, he was talking some nonsense about trying to fence goods to the weaklings at Castle Karstag. I told him he was crazy to even think about talking to those vicious little buggers. But he wouldn't listen. I'd bet a fat purse of coin that he's either dead or hiding out up there. You do that, and I'll make sure you're set up right. You won't be disappointed. No, I... Wait, maybe. I don't know how I know that name. I... I'm not sure. I don't want to talk about this. A fine question, and the one that I hear most often from visitors to our town. I wish I had a more romantic tale to tell, but I was simply seeking my fortune and chose Raven Rock to ply my trade. Besides, knowing how to repair bone mold armor wasn't very useful in Riften. I had a friend over there, a dark elf named Van Reif, a very talented armor smith. Spent a lot of time with the guy swapping smithing techniques. Learned a heck of a lot, including how to repair bone mold. After he moved on to greener pastures, I decided to pack up, move out here, and put those lessons to the test. Been here ever since. It's the only tool tough enough to crack Stallrim, is what it is. Not many of those beauties left in the world. Forging them is a lost art. The one Crescius borrowed came from the Skull Village up north. I, uh, traded them some goods for it. 
calling Stallrim an ore is like calling my forge a campfire. Some folks say it's enchanted ice, but I think there's more to it than that. I don't think I've come across more than a chunk or two in my lifetime, and smithing's my trade. If you're looking to learn more, you should head over to the Skull Village. Someone there's bound to know more about it than I do. You tell Crescious he better give that pickaxe back to me, or else.